welcome back to my channel fabulously frugal and fancy I'm Brandy and today we are doing a look for less this is part of the look for less challenge uh, hosted by the Latina next door Yami from the Latina next door I appreciate her hosting this and I enjoyed making this it didn't turn out exactly as I thought it would in the beginning but it turned out really cute and I really like how it turned out a couple of little extra little things added in that are more inspired by uh, but I hope you enjoy watching this uh, let's go make something fabulous for very cheap so uh, I saved a lot of money making this as opposed to what you would do buying it so I hope you enjoy watching this and I hope you have a blessed day talk to you later all right again I want to thank our host uh, Yami at the Latina next door and I hope I am saying your name correctly if not I do apologize for that but I thank you for hosting this. All right, so here's my inspiration picture. This is from Pottery Barn, and this piece of artwork cost $899. I start off here with um, some embroidery hoops, and I take the uh, little metal piece off of the smaller one. I end up not using the larger one at all. thought I may need it for support, but I didn't, so um, I took two of them, and I took the little metal pieces off, I actually took the top piece and the inside piece and I just kind of took the metal piece off and I glued them together to make it more sturdy and more stable and I used my little clips there from Dollar Tree just to hold them until the uh, glue completely set up in there so that they were tight and then I just wiped off the excess glue that had eased out and again at first I wasn't sure if I was going to use the larger hoop or not so I left it sitting there to try and then I use these skewer sticks that I picked up um, I believe I got mine at uh, Walmart I'm not totally sure I don't believe I found them at Dollar Tree I believe I found a larger pack which saved me some money by buying just one large pack at Walmart instead of buying the smaller packs at Dollar Tree so I cleared enough space here and I'm just trying to make sure I have enough room and I'm just kind of measuring out like the four north south east west points here so that I can make sure that I'm trying to do evenly um, in between again making sure I have enough table space because you need a large space to do this <laughs> And when I saw this on the Pottery Barn website, I really looked at it in shock at the price tag. Theirs is metal, yes, uh, but I was like, wow, I know I can make that cheaper. Let's see what we can do with these, um, you know, these skewer sticks and embroidery hoops here. And so I just take a couple of sticks and I put a whole bunch of glue on and then I'm just putting them and lining them up at the base at the bottom there and then they're going to fan out and kind of make a sunburst out at the other end. Um, now if I were to redo this I would make mine a little bit more even up at the top as far as placement so they weren't um, they were more even at the other ends as well. And then I just take my uh, scissors there and I just push the skewer sticks down so that they are flush with that inner ring of the embroidery hoop and then I just go all the way around I add a line of glue and then my glue is a uh, hot temp so it does stay um, I guess I'm gonna say wet for a little bit longer because it takes it longer to cool off and then again uh, just using my scissors there to push them and make sure they're all even so I make it a line, add some more skewers, and just keep going until I go all the way around. Again, mine did not turn out perfectly even, and if I were to redo this, I would uh, make a better plan to have them line up, because some are really close together out on the far end, and some are further apart out on the far end, even though at the base they are all lined up perfectly so I would have thought that out a little bit better but I like how it turned out in the end it's not perfectly uniform but it does turn out really cute so 
I really like how it turned out. Now in the inspiration one, theirs was perfectly uniform. And again, theirs was made of metal. And um, in the final size of mine, mine ended up being about the same size as the one in the inspiration picture. All right, so I just go all the way around. Again, using the scissors there just to push uh, those back to make sure they're all even and level. I was finding it a little bit difficult to reach across. Um, so I stood up so that I could do it a little bit better because the skewer sticks are long and I was reaching up and over. And as you can see there, I went in and added hot glue to the top as well as underneath uh, just to reinforce those there so just to make sure that they were going to stay and not fall off because I'm not using that outer ring that's just to hold them upright at this point and originally I thought I might uh, use the second ring for more reinforcements but I really wanted it to look as much like the inspiration piece as possible and the one in the inspiration piece did not have any kind of an outer ring at all. So I just did my best to secure them to each other down there at the bottom. And in the end, none of them came loose. They are a little wobbly there because it's not fully dry, but they um, end up not being loose once the glue is completely dry. They're pretty secure. I moved this thing around quite a few times and it has not fallen apart. And so, I, I think that it worked just fine. I just used regular glue sticks, nothing special. And if you really wanted it to hold, you could use, um, what is it, wood glue or wood glue glue sticks. Either way, again, I just used regular glue sticks and I don't know the brand. I just got a large pack at Walmart, but they're just the basic ones. They're not the anything special. I really like these challenges for me to find something that is really expensive that I might think is pretty or cute, but a price tag that I would never pay. Even if I had extra money in my bank account, I do not believe I would pay over $800 for a piece of artwork. In fact, I know I wouldn't. I'm way too, I was going to say cheap, but I will say frugal. I'm way too frugal for that. Um, and I can be creative, so I can look at something and be like, oh, that's really cute, and that's really expensive, and I would not pay that. So, now if it was like a historical piece of art and I was millionaire, there's a possibility I would buy something like that, just because there's certain famous classical artworks that I think are beautiful, but I really don't see me ever actually buying any of those, even if I had the money to do so. Uh, just because I can't imagine just having one of those in my home so but here I am just working my way all the way around the hoop there and I did use almost the entire pack and this was a hundred pack I did use almost the entire pack I only had about 10 or 15 left at all and see here I'm weighting some down just a little bit because they kind of were starting to pop up a little bit there on that spot so I would just lay the glue uh, lay the scissors or something kind of on them until the glue kind of set just a little bit um, and just working my way around putting it right into that hot glue that is there and lining up the inside parts there and then going over the top with excess hot glue on the top of that. And I'm getting near to the end. Just working my way all the way around. And again, that inner, that outer circle there is not even, but it's not attached. Right now it's just holding these up so that they don't fall just fall right out of the glue it's just holding them up at that height that they need to be and give me a little extra support to hold them in place for right now and here I am just finishing up 
Now in the original piece, on the end of each pole, there was a uh, like a little flat, kind of almost like a rounded off diamond shape. And I tried to mimic that, um, I'll show you here in just a bit. The first time I tried to mimic that exactly like the, it just wasn't working out. See here, I had bought these beads, uh, they were the Mardi Gras beads and these are kind of a different shape from the Dollar Tree and I had cut up the beaded garland necklace that it was and I tried to put the bead on directly. Now the problem was is that these beads were rounded on the bottom and the top and I just, I couldn't get it to hold this way no matter how much hot glue I used it just kept running down the sides and it just kept tipping off and it was just taking me about 10 minutes and finally after 10 minutes I finally got a bead to stay on there and I was like this is going to take me way too long because again I used almost the entire pack of 100 and I was like um uh, no this is not going to work so I just sat it aside and thought about it for a while I think I slept on it overnight before I came back to it and these are the beads that I had bought. These Mardi Gras beads came, I believe, four or five in a pack. And so then I just kind of laid it over the whole strand and started gluing down uh, the pieces to the ends of the skewers wherever they met. And I went all the way around. It took me about two and a half strands. And here I am. I'm take I had taken this outside. Now I don't film me actually spray painting. I'm not sure how anybody does that. I know I would get paint all over my phone camera so I'm just showing you the paint I used and spray painted the entire thing and this is how it turned out I think it turned out beautifully I really like how it turned out I just showed it on a black background here now just to recap theirs cost $899 and mine cost about $12 to make and I really like how mine turned out as well now my next thing, this is more of an inspired by and not a dupe exactly because these uh, little uh, decorative things. Now I use these two brain teaser games from Dollar Tree and all I did was take them outside with my spray paint, the same metallic gold spray paint, and I just painted them all over. Now that one that I showed you, these don't look exactly like that. Like I said, that was just inspired by. and mine came out I have two of them and I can set them with different things right here I'm just staging them with a little bit of the gold and silver that I have on top of my piano and I think they turned out really cute theirs was $14 for one and mine I made two of them for two dollars and fifty cents so I'm I really like how you know just this so idea. So what did you think how did I do did I uh, replicate that one pretty good that gold piece that art piece that extravagant price tag that they had on there. No offense, I'm not paying that for anything um, if I can avoid it at all. And especially not a decor piece that I know I can remake. So I made it for a lot less and I enjoy making things like this just to challenge myself to see what I can do with something that is very high priced and if I can make it for cheaper. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope that you uh, watch the there's gonna be a playlist so go to the link in the description box you can watch all the other videos of the other people who joined this challenge again thank you to Yami from the Latina next door for hosting this challenge and I hope that if you are coming from the the playlist that you will subscribe to my channel like this video leave me a thumbs up leave me a comment below let me know what you think and how I did I hope you have a blessed day bye